Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 4th, 5th, and 6th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Aries. Hello, my Aries. Now, you know that I'm using my two Bradley Valentine decks, Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards, and then I'll pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Just, just remember, this is a, you know, general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open to, I open myself to higher power. Oh, and we got a bunch of cards falling out here. Higher power, um, whatever the message is, all I have to do is just deliver it. Let me go pick up those cards, though. Hold on a second. Here we go. They obviously want to be seen. Okay, so we have we have three that came up, and we have two that are face down. Now, let's move these around a little bit. Okay, reversed cards, to me, have a little stronger energy, so we want to pay attention. We have these two cards here and here. So this one... I'm getting something about this one crossing this card. I mean, well, it is crossing it, so I'm feeling like there could be a little bit of a block. So we're going to put this just over here for the moment. I'm not going to look at them, but I want to concentrate on what we have here. Okay, so put all of these face up. Let's see what we have for my Aries for the weekend. Now, the first one is the Ace of Water. Water is our... Scorpio, it's our Pisces, it's our Cancer uh, energies, it's fluid emotional energies. So there could be, the aces are this new start. There could be a really strong new beginning, new emotional beginning, a new, um, you know, this, I'm feeling kind of, you know, this, I, I'm kind of going a little bit more with the relationships for you. Now that could be your work, job, career. It could be personal, intimate, interpersonal. It could be family, or it could be something to do with your home. I'm feeling like this is, for my Aries, a resurgence of an old relationship. I'm feeling like it's a resurgence of an old relationship that's almost like it becomes new again. Uh, and I think that whoever this is, now it could be, you know, it could be your existing relationship. I feel like there's longevity there. I feel like there's been years there, okay? So it could be that you've been with this person for years and now there's a, you know, there's this new buildup, or it could be that you haven't seen this person in years. I'm feeling years, I'm hearing years, um, and I do feel like there's longevity, okay? And you know, that ace is that new start, that new beginning. This is emotional, this is, but I do feel like it's more, I mean, it could be any of those. It could be your work, it could be personal, you know, it feels more um, committed. It feels more, um, it does feel more personal, okay? But you can have a job that you felt very personal about too. But it feels more, uh, it feels more per, um, personal, okay? So I'm thinking more that intimate. Now, this is falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth or and enhanced intuition, a new home. I feel like it's somebody that you've either, You've been in a relationship for years, and it's kind of gotten a little dull, and now it's heating up again, or there's been a separation of years, but the years keeps coming. Now, your next card is Eight of Fire. Now, this is your energy. So, you know, this is also Leo. It's also Sagittarius energy, fire, passionate, burning. This, you know, eights have some, have like, you know, this unlimited potential, but this is like things, this this relationship, and it feels like you're probably going to reconnect, well, you've been reconnecting, I feel like you've been, re but it, this is like you're taking this to the next step. This is like you're kind of, you know, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you're um, becoming really, really intimate, but it's like you're you're almost becoming spiritually intimate also. So I do, yeah, you know, I do feel this intimacy, but it's it's at a higher level than just physical. Okay, so sorry, sorry, my Aries, but it's at a higher level anyway. But also too with the Eight of Fire, 
it uh, it's kind of like the chariot where things move quickly things move quickly now events moving at a fast pace delays are over many things happening at once now i feel like that there's also that there was also somebody somebody that blocked this relationship so i mean whether this be an existing relationship that again you know I feel like you were given information that blocked it. Um, you know, it might have been like he, she doesn't really like you. And, you know, but I, I feel like there's a, another party there, a third party that doesn't necessarily, um, I, that doesn't necessarily want this. Okay. Anyway, let's go on. Your next card. Again, this one is reversed. It is the king of air. Now, kings have that underlying energy of air, and this is the king of air. So this is smart, smart. This one knows, it, it's like whatever this was during the years, it's like you know more, you know better. You know not to listen or trust that third party. You know, I'm not quite sure what that third party was all about, except that I feel like that third party blocked things for you, okay? Just kind of through, and it's like, now you know better, you know better. The thing is, again, I'm not, you know, it's not so much that this is an, uh, a, a physical type of relationship, it's, go, it's beyond, it's, it's higher than that. It's higher than that. Now, the king of air is brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic, diplomatic, now, this, this does have a lot of work energy with this. So this could be somebody or even a work job. But this is speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. Now, let's come to these two cards. Because this one I felt like was a block. So we'll put this to the side. And this one was here. Let's see what this is. So, the Page of Earth. Now, the Page of Earth... Pages have the earth energy as their, you know, so it's earth, earth. Very practical matter. But this has a lot of that work energy. So this could be a new, this could be an old job that comes back. It could be a job that you have. It, but, you know, or it could be somebody from, that you used to work with, okay? But also, to the page of earth, which is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, something, someone you can touch a lot of times has to do with money, money with the job. But this is also, maybe there's been some lessons learned. Again, I know that the king of air is about smart, smart, okay? This is wise, wise. This is, I, you know, but these are the, you had to go through, you know, whoever this is for, you had to go through a lot of stuff in order for you to learn the lessons, okay? But this could be something to do with your work also, okay? So, this is a scho scholarly, dependable, patient, successful, Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So this is very. This it does have a very hands-on type of energy here. Let's see what this one is. This one is reversed. I kind of felt like it was keeping you, but let's see. This one is the King of Earth. Okay, so the King of Earth. Now the King, remember, has the air energy, so very wise. The Earth energy, very wise, but also very, very practical. So. This could be something that's been kind of, maybe your practicality has been keeping you from this. It could be that these are even two different readings, okay? So we have to kind of keep that into, uh, into mind, too, because they were very separate in their energies. So, you know, this could be, you know, we'll, we'll go with the easy one with this one, that this is something to do with your work, your job, your way of making money, and that it actually, um, you know, is going to be taken to that step higher. Or I, I, I still feel a really strong sense of competition, though. You know, like whoever that third party was, I still feel a very strong sense of competition that tries to block you, okay? So maybe you're trying to start something new, and then there's somebody around you that is, you know, that maybe has a little bit more, okay? It doesn't mean you can't get to this little bit more, okay? So I just, I don't know. I just feel like this was a block. I'm going to have to just say it. Um, you know, but we'll see. This is what this is about. Generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. 
So, I mean, you know, you might be, or it might also be fear of success. Sometimes people, you know, people are very afraid of success. And Aries, um, you know, you have, you have times where you get so close, you get so close and then something, you know, something happens and I'm not sure, you know, sometimes that can condition us, that can condition us to step back. It's like, I'm so close, but you know, I'm afraid of going further. That could be that too. Big weekend, big weekend energy for you. Let's go on here. We're going to cut. Here we go. The last card. The Eight of Ariel. Okay, we've got this Earth energy again. And, you know, Eights do have that unlimited possibilities. So if this is something that, if it's like you're a little bit afraid, if these are... You know, this, I mean, it could be, all of this could be joining together. I'll let you see how that works for you. I do feel like these are kind of separate, but yet not. So, not sure what that means, but this is, again, that work energy, and this is believe in yourself. Know that you can obtain, you know, know that you can um, make dreams happen. Know that you actually have what it takes, Okay. You have what it takes. I want you to have more confidence. I want you to have more confidence, especially in whatever this is. Okay? Okay. So, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. But again, it's really much a thing of believing in yourself. Okay. So, anyway. Um, here we go. And I'm getting the message, Rob, pick up your message. Pick up your message. And that's about what I left on the last message. Okay. Here we are. This is the crystal cards. We're just going to pull one out just because they're fun. Here we go. You don't have to buy any crystals. I'm not selling crystals. Nothing like this. This is reversed. Amber. Amber comes out every so often. I like amber. I think I even have amber in a necklace. Somebody... Amber told me about an amber necklace, and so I think thought, oh, I think I have it too. Amber provides harmony, home protection, calm, attracts love. So you've got a really interesting, you've got a lot of interesting vibes. You've got that personal connection, but you have that professional thing going on. Believe in yourself. Um, lots, of lots of good stuff. Anyway, anyway. Now, my Aries, if you enjoy my readings, remember the button, like, share, subscribe. It really helps. It does. As always, my Aries, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.